Hello everyone. Here we need to find the value of x in the given equation square root of x plus square root of x minus square root of x minus square root of x equal to 3 by 2 into square root of x by x plus square root of x. First, distribute this square root to both numerator and denominator like this square root to x and square root to x plus square root of x and bring this square root of x plus square root of x to left side so here it is in denominator when we bring this to left side it will become as a multiplication so like this when we, we can see that this part and this part both are same square root of x plus square root of x so it will become whole square and here the second item square root of x plus square root of x here we can see square root of x minus square root of x both are having square root so we can write them as a common square like this so when we multiply this item with this item it will become whole square when you multiply this item with this item, we are writing it as a both the items and common square, square root. So now we can see that this is of the form a plus b into a minus b. So we can write it as a square minus b square, which is x square minus square root of x whole square. In this part, this is square root and whole square. We can cancel. The remaining part is x plus square root of x minus square root of x square minus square root of x whole square. The right side will remain same. Now, we can see that this is square root of x and again whole square is there. We can cancel these two like this. Square root of x whole square was there. Both we, can, we cancelled square root and whole square. The remaining value is like this. Now, this is, bring this square root of x from right side to left side which will become like this now distribute this denominator square root of x to each item in the numerator like to this item x by square root of x square root of x by square root of x minus square root of x square minus x by square root of x just we have distributed this denominator to each item like this here x we can write it as a square root of x into square root of x now we can cancel one square root of x in the denominator and one square root of x in the numerator the remaining is one square root of x like this this numerator and denominator both are the same we can cancel it remaining is one minus now write this numerator and denominator under one square root like this square root of x square minus x by x equal to 3 by 2 now from this x square minus x take one x common the remaining is x minus 1 and cancel this x in numerator and denominator the remaining value is x minus 1 in the square root like this now bring this 3 by 2 from right side to left side it will become minus 3 by 2 and send this minus square root of x minus 1 to right side like this it will become plus square root of x so 1 minus 3 by 2 is 2 minus 3 by 2 which is minus 1 by 2 now apply square on both sides like this whole square on both sides now expand whole square with the a minus b whole square formula square root of x whole square is x which is a square plus b square which is 1 by 2 whole square which is 1 by 4 minus 2ab 2 into square root of x into 1 by 2 equal to square root and whole square you get cancelled and remaining value is x minus 1 now bring this x minus 1 from right side to left side which will become plus x will become minus x plus 1 will become minus 1 will become plus 1 this 2 and this 2 we can cancel the remaining value is minus the square root of x and when we send this minus square root of x to this side it will become plus the square root of x here we can see plus x is there minus x is there which 
both we can cancel. Remaining value is 1 by 4 plus 1. 1 by 4 plus 1. 1 by 4 plus 1 is nothing but 1 plus 4. 5 by 4. Square root of x is equal to 5 by 4. Again apply square on both sides. Which will become x is equal to 5 square by 4 square. 5 square is 25. 4 square is 16. So the value of x is 25 by 16.